Friend is up, everybody. It's a goofy wheel and true guru. Welcome to the show. And here's my dad. His faithful assistant, aka dad. And we're here to try some very exciting gadgets. Once he's been wanting to try for a very long time because the end product is something he loves to eat. What's something you love to eat? Hot dogs. Hot dogs. He likes to eat hot dogs. All kinds of hot dogs. We got natural casing dogs. We got some ballpark bun size franks. We got, let's see, we got some Hebrew nationals and his favorite, the official hot dog of the Boston Red Sox, not yet a sponsor, Kyan Dogs. These are Fenway Franks right here. He loves Fenway Franks. So we're going to be testing those too. But what are we going to, the real test here is going to be these gadgets. So we're going to start out this segment. We're going to be doing the Dizzy Dog, the Cool Dog, and this one just says the Spiral Cutter. So two different sizes there to cut it open, you know, in case you have thicker dogs, smaller dogs, whatever. Uh, this one looks like it's a one size fits all. It looks like it only fits the smaller dogs. And this one, it's got a large curl dog and a regular curl dog. So we're going to be opening these all up and testing these all out here on Goofy Wheelchair Guru. Goofy Wheelchair Guru. Hello, we're back. Ready to test. Yes, we are. We got all the hot dog pack, the gadgets open, and we started kind of doing it. And we had some interruptions. We had to delete out part of it because the dog started barking. Because guess what? UPS just came, U United States Postal Service just came, and brought a whole bunch of packages for the guru, including yeah. some Japanese sodas he'll be trying later today. Maybe we'll get that video up this afternoon. But here we go. We're going to be ready to try this. So we got this first one going here. We already tried some. But we added that. Well, we added that out. You'll get to see us really trying them because you know what? I didn't read the instructions, and these things you really kind of you gotta read the instructions and make sure you do it the right way. So hopefully I'll do it. So this one here, you stick it in here like that. You put the thing through the hot dog, as such. You take it, push it down, and hopefully that did a nice job. Yes, it did. There it is. That's got some nice cuts and grooves in it. Because what all these log are going to do is this thing is cooking. Okay. And this was a natural casing dog. This had a nice thick casing on it. Look how nice that did through that. As this cooks, these are going to expand out. When that's done cooking, you're going to have all these little notches and nooks and crannies in there to get all your condiments in there, Phil. Yeah. What's one of your favorite things to put on a hot dog? Sometimes cheese. Cheese? How about relish? You could put relish. nice relish on there. Chili sauce. Meat sauce, any kind of stuff. Mustard, ketchup. I know you. some of the hot dog purists say don't put ketchup on hot dogs. Me, I like ketchup on my hot dog. But it'll all get in there. So that one came out pretty good. I really did like that one. Let's try, try it with a ballpark, Frank. And these are a little, still a little frozen. These are bundling dogs. So again, we take the little skewer. And we push that bad boy. Oh, I'm going a little wonky into it. Okay, so get that through there just like that. See, dog on a stick. We stick her in here just like that. And we just give it a boom and cut it. And there it is. Nice grooves into it. Cuts a little bit deeper than I really kind of want it. I wonder, let's see. Let's try it with this one here and see what it does. They gave you two different sizes here, here. We'll try one of the Kayam Fenway Franks, the guru's favorite, because he is a huge Red Sox fan. So please, Yankee fans, don't hold that against him. Because you know what? Even though we root against each other, we still got to love each other because without the other one, would baseball be as much fun? So here we go. Let's try it with this one here. Let's see what it does. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that one worked that well. So I think you got to use the bigger one for these. So okay. So there is the cool a dog. I kind of like that one. We'll see how it does when we cook them up later and we really give you a judging. You can see these are two of the gadgets we'll be using later too to cook up the dogs on. We have the uh, 
thing. It's kind of like a toaster oven. You put the dogs in there, the buns in there. You push it down like a toaster and you let it cook. And then we got this one. It's got those rollers like you see it, you know, all the different places. Steams the buns in the top. Both kind of nostalgic type products. Both Coca-Cola on them. Not a sponsor. Yet. So, let's try another one here. We're going to try this thing again. This was the... Dizzy Dog? Dizzy Dog. I think we see my beautiful wife is over there to kind of guide me on this one. So, all right, I think it didn't work with the Fenway Frank. I don't know. I just, okay, maybe, maybe it will work. All right, let's see what we can do here. So, we're going to take this thing. We're going to start spiraling. Let's see here. Let's see what this thing does. I kind of got to... I don't think I pushed in enough. So let's see here. There, it's in the other way. We're going to get the whole thing spiralized. Okay, now we're going to do this and hopefully I'll push it out the other side. You will see. There it goes. Yep, you can see it's pushing down. It's starting to come out the other side. We'll see if I can. I'm going to do this. Try to get it to the end. Okay, let's do that. You can see it's coming out there. Again, this is a nice Kayam beef and pork dog. And I got to do the same thing. This one's kind of difficult to use. And it ripped off. I think this one is more me than anything. There, yeah, it's a little bit more me. Let, let me try it with a Hebrew national dog here. So. Do this. There it is. Now that did a nice job. That is a perfect spiral on there. So a little bit more trial on there. Me getting it right. Turn this up so you can see my beautiful face. Look, I got a haircut too. So here you go, nice hot dog there, okay. Now the other one we got was this one here, and I was having a little bit of difficulty with this one. We're gonna try this with a natural casing dog. Now nah, we'll do the Hebrew National, these seem to work really well. So you take the hot dog, you stick it in this little thing here. And I still don't know about this thing. So you put this little knife thing here. You wanna make sure you keep your thumb in there to kind of keep the dog in place and you keep just twisting and I gotta say I'm really liking that one that doesn't have the fancy name but you know it's cool dog dizzy dog the other one is just a hot dog spiral slicer non fancy name all right let's see how this did so see, that one just kind of cuts through. I can kind of do the same thing with a knife, just So, to be honest, I really did uh, like the cool dog. I like that one. I like that one, I like that one. Let's, let's see, let's see. We did it with a, what kind of dogs did we do it with, babe? We did the uh, that one with the, the Kayam, with the Fenway Frank. And we did it with the natural casing. Let's try it. You know what? We didn't do one with the Hebrew National. Let's see. We've done all of them with the Hebrew National except this one. Let's try it. See how it looks. So again, push that skewer right through. Stick it in. And push it down. And pull it up. And there it is. Dog is ready to... Be cooked. So, 
We'll be right back with you in a minute. We're going to be getting set up outside on the deck. We're going to cook them up with these cookers. We're going to throw some on the grill. We got to spiralize up a couple more. And we'll let you know which one came out the best. And you know what? We have four different hot dogs. We're going to let you know which one we like the best here and which style we like the best cooking it in. Here on... Goofy Wheelchair Guru. Goofy Wheelchair Guru. I'm the faithful assistant, a.k.a. Dad. And he is the guru. Are you the guru? All right, be back at you in a minute. You can talk. I'm the goofy wheelchair guru. He's a goofy wheelchair guru. And I'm a stay throw assistant, a.k.a. Dad. And here we are, ready to start cooking those spiralized hot dogs we did a little bit ago. So, I'm going to turn this so it can get in here. I want you to be able to see we got a couple different cookers here. We got this nice one here. Yeah. Let's uh, adjust this. So there we go. Let's swing it down so you guys can actually see these things going on. Okay, so this one's got those little roller things in it. So we're going to turn that on. Let it start to get warmed up. Okay, we're going to turn it full on heat. Okay, and we got the other one over here. This one's kind of like a toaster oven. The way you do this one is let's get some buns out of here. Nice regular hot dog buns from our local grocery store. Alright, so you take your buns as such, you open this up, and you stick it in there, and you stick the other one in there. Then we're going to take two of these hot dogs. Oh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try these. I think these will work better. So there's one with a natural casing. And, uh, let's see. We'll try this one. So different kinds of dogs here. I don't think he, he really fits in there well, though. But All right, so then we come over to here to this side. Press that down. Get those into there. And we'll let them start to cook. And, uh, let's see. I might want to change this because I like my dogs cooked a little bit more. So I'm going to crank that up to there. So this will cook for a certain amount of time. I got the grill going over there. We're going to try some of these spiralized dogs and get them cooked up and let you know how they are in a little bit. All right, so we got hot dogs cooking in there. We got hot dogs on the little roller thing in here. If you look in the lid, hot dogs warming in the tray up above. This one cooks two hot dogs, two buns. This one cooks, I can only get about four dogs on there, it looks like. Um, and then I got six buns in there, but I got a whole bunch more over here on the grill that was spiralized. So we're going to see what all works best with in combination with the spiralizing and all that fun stuff. Okay? And my beautiful, beautiful wife, the mother of the Goofy Wheelchair Guru. It just bought me a new tray to put the cooked hot dogs in. So we're going to be doing a taste test here very shortly. All okay, right, here we go. Moment of truth. I just took the buns out of there. You see they're kind of to really nice and toasted up. There's two hot dogs coming out here. They have been spiraled. So you take the little hook thing, pull these out. And then look, at you can take one hot dog out. Wow, that is nice and spiralized up. Woo. All right, we'll put that back in there for now. Okay. Now... I'll do one for me and one for Phil. What do you want? Mustard and ketchup on yours? You want honey Dijon or regular mustard? Honey Dijon. Honey Dijon. He wants some honey Dijon. Do you want any ketchup on with it? Yeah. Oh. Okay, that's been open. So ketchup and mustard for Phil. See, and that mustard gets right down into those little cracks. I'm going to put some of mine because, oh, I think this is brand new. Both of these are brand new. Sorry about that, folks. Wasting time here, but that's okay. And you can see it gets right down and into there. And Phil wants some ketchup onto his. Okay. So, 
Let's spin this around so you can see Oh Great Guru. Oh Great Guru, are you ready to try a hot dog? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna take this, blow on it. You can see, look at that. It gets all the stuff down into those little spirals there. So, let's catch up with mustard. Let's see how this thing cooks. How is that? Good. I'm gonna try mine here. Mm. You enjoying it? Mm -hmm. All right. What do you think of that cooker? Did a great job toast up the bun. It's nice and toasted. And um, tell you what, the hot dog got a nice cook on to it. I was very pleased with that. That'd be great if you're just cooking up for yourself. They do make a four dog version. So um, I noticed the other cooker, the one with the ro the things. I can cook four on it, but they're still cooking. They're gonna take a little while to cook. Um, so, I, you know, I really do like that cooker better um, for the spirals. We did like that other dog one, right? The uh, cooler dog, where you just put it in and close the lid and does it. That one, I'm looking at how they're cooking, looks the best. What do you think? Yeah? And out of all the hot dogs, we've been testing a little bit here and there. We gotta say we do like our Fenway Franks and the natural skin casing dogs, right? Yep. So we definitely give the one Coca-Cola toaster oven looking one a thumbs up. The other one kind of a sideways. And then for the spiralized dog things, we give the curl dog a big thumbs up. The other two, not so much. They're more towards a thumbs down. So, but what do you think? Good day doing hot dog gadgets? Hey, we're gonna go jump in the pool now and cool off. It's hot, it's humid. So we're gonna lounge in the pool the rest of the day. But thanks for tuning in. Make sure you click that thumbs up button. Click that subscribe button. And thanks everybody for tuning in too. See you next time.